Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to show percent of the total for your metrics with charts and tables in Google Data Studio. Now, you might have charts and tables like these where you have the page, for example, as a dimension and then the page views for each of those pages. So you can see numbers like this or, or you might have something like this table with the browser or with continent as a dimension and then the breakdown for unique page views for each of those browser values or each of these continent values. And your audience can see the number of unique page views or whatever metric you have associated with those dimensions. But it might be helpful for your audience, for you or your audience, to include percent of the total so that your audience can process those numbers a bit quicker. For example, you would be able to see the percent breakdown for each of these continents. Of course, one of the most common ways to display percentage breakdowns is by using pie charts or donut charts. But you can add them to tables if you want to avoid using too many pie charts or donut charts. Or you may have managers who prefer to see data and tables. They want to see line by line by line, even a spreadsheet with 20, 25 columns, as opposed to a nice visualization to easily digest the data. They want to see every single data point. Trust me, those folks do exist out there. That includes managers, directors, even VPs, and other higher level managers. But let's start with the most common way to show percent of total, and that's with the pie chart or the donut chart. So you want to make sure this element here is on either pie chart or donut chart. So once we have that selected, then choose your dimension. We're going to keep this on device, but you can type in whatever other dimension you want to use. And then go down to the metric section and type in or find the metric that you want. We'll just keep it on users. And here it also includes optional metrics that the audience can select if they want to change the metric from users to something else. But this is how our chart looks with the legend down here and you can easily see the percent breakdown for users for this website. If you have a lot of dimensions, for example if you're using pages instead of device, you want to limit it so that your other section like this for example. Here we have the top pages with the percentage broken down by page views and then the others that percent is only 16% so that's good we don't want others to be you know like 50% and only showing the top three pages or so if you only display the top three pages and then the rest grouped into others you don't know whether others includes only five other pages or if it includes a hundred other pages. So you can see what I mean here if I just show four slices. So in the, right now we have obviously more than four slices, but if others is at 48%, we don't know how many other pages that includes. but if we choose to display 10 slices, 
that gives us a better idea of the most popular pages. Now let's take a look at how we can use a line chart to depict the same data. So if you notice for this donut chart, our dimension is page and our metric is page view. And we're going to click on this line chart next to it. And it's uh, the time series option, the time series chart in Data Studio. And the breakdown dimension this time is still page. And our metric is still page views. And then for the dimension on the chart, that is the x-axis, that will be date. So with this chart, we'll be able to see the page views by percent and how they trend over time. So we have our dimensions and metrics set up here. So right now, the most number of page views we have is for the search page and it's sitting at eight for this time frame. So in order to change this from page views to page views percent of total, we're going to go over to our settings on the right and next to the metric for page views, we'll click on this icon as it turns into a writing utensil. And in this frame, there's a field called comparison calculation. Right now, and by default, it's set to none. So click on that drop down, and we have a couple options here. But the option that we want is percent of total. So once we select that, the chart will update, and now we can see the y axis maximum value changes from 8 to 20%. So then it gives us these percent of total numbers as it trends over time. Now let's go to our table and we'll change the tables in order to reflect those percentages. So we're just going to use this table down here and we'll change the dimension to page. So we'll look for our page, scroll down, select that, keep this page view metrics here, and then add another metric which will also be page views. So we'll actually have this metric show up twice in our table. And you can see the numbers are exactly the same for both columns. But we're going to go over to the second page view metric, edit it by clicking on this writing utensil icon and change the comparison calculation again to percent of total. Right now, our column titles for each of those metrics both say page views. But as we can see in the table, that isn't quite the case. So we're going to go back into our edit mode for the metric for the second page view metric and then rename it to something like page views percent of total. So that'll change the title there. And if we have more space, you can see the whole title. What we're going to do is add a summary row at the bottom. So you can see the total number of page views. And in the page views, the percent of total column, that will add up to 100%.
So you can use one of these three methods for various dimensions and metrics. For example, you can use location, you can use device category, specific mobile devices, browsers, browser versions to make sure you're designing your web page, your website with a majority of your users in mind. You can use it with acquisition channels. You can use it with events. For example, if you have download events that you're recording or other key events, you can also use it with revenue if you have an e-commerce site. So that's how you use Data Studio to show percent of total. If you want to see more content on analysis and reporting, tracking web behavior, measuring web behavior, and improving your digital experiences, check out the link to the website in the description below. You can also take a look at some of the playlists for the YouTube channel. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.